After the Wagner mercenary group aborted mutiny in Russia, President Vladimir Putin appeared in a Kremlin video address. In the video, Putin was seen addressing a youth forum titled The Engineers of the Future. He appreciated companies for ensuring what he called the stable operation of the Russian industry in the face of severe external challenges. Reports said that Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, held a telephonic conversation with the Russian president on Monday. The Kremlin said that the Iranian president extended his full support following the Wagner Group's aborted mutiny. The Kremlin further said that Qatar's Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani also called Putin and expressed his support. Earlier on Saturday, Putin made a national address to the Russian people, condemning the mutiny by Wagner mercenaries. He termed the uprising a stab in the back and vowed to crush it. In the meantime, mercenary boss Yevgeny Prigozhin remains under investigation for leading the Wagner group. Reports cited a source in the prosecutor's office, saying that the criminal case against Yevgeny Prigozhin has not been dropped yet. On Sunday, the Kremlin managed to halt the advance of the Wagner group on Moscow. It is being reported that Russia stopped a civil war that would have derailed the Ukraine war and could potentially end Putin's career. Reports further said that a deal brokered by Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko saw Wagner fighters withdraw from the Rostov region and return to Ukraine, where they have spearheaded Russia's war. Prigozhin, who was once close to Putin, was to go into exile and not face prosecution for his actions. But it seems that the Wagner chief still faces criminal charges. In the meantime, reports said that another formerly Russian-held settlement was recaptured by the Ukrainian forces on the southern front. A counter-offensive was launched this month by Ukraine against the Russian troops, which have occupied almost a fifth of its territory in the country's southern and eastern regions. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has accepted that the advance did not accelerate as fast as estimated, even though more Western-supplied weapons and tanks were deployed by Ukraine. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.